Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you news on the Last Wish World's First Raid completion, new in-game changes, a new cutscene, a new strike, a new mission, new ways to earn power for engrams and more. But before we get into it guys, if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like truly helps me and the channel out and I do appreciate the support. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the raid started last night, 6 p.m. UK time. Me personally, I entered the first activity and I knew instantly I was just too under level to even do anything. I mean, there's just no point in me even attempting it. I woke up this morning a good 14 hours after the raid had started to see people were still at it. People were still trying to get it done. I mean, absolute craziness. Literally an hour ago from when this video went live, the raid was conquered. Clan Redeem got it done. What a bunch of legends. 18 plus hours of constant playing. I mean, that is some crazy determination if you ask me for sure. I think their highest level was A555 and he was still 20 levels below the final boss. Absolute craziness. So congrats to Glad, Modern Tryhard and the rest of Redeem for getting it done first. Now it seems because these fellows have completed the raid, we have had new in-game changes, new ways of earning powerful rewards, a new mission and a new strike. But before all of this guys, we get a new cutscene which can be seen on screen now. My queen commanded me to slay a beast. We could not do it alone, so I turned to the Guardians. Six brave heroes came to destroy my people's greatest secret. Riven, the last known Ahamkara, a creature of immense power and cunning. The Guardians killed Riven and ripped out her heart. But Ahamkara transcend death. They can transform desire into reality even when they are nothing but bone and dust. I should have known that Riven would grant one last wish, one last curse. Now the Dreaming City has been taken. I opened the gates. I ordered the attack. I should have known. So as you will see on your map, there is a new strike, the Corrupted. Hunt down one of Queen Mara's most trusted advisors and free her from taken possession. Now I'm yet to run this, but we'll be sure to get it done ASAP. Also guys, you want to go and see Petra because she has a new bounty for you called the Broken Courier. We see this offers new powerful gear. And when this is selected guys, a new mission pops up on a Dreaming City map for you to complete. Also guys, since the raid completion, it seems the corruption has started taking over the Dreaming City. We can see these black mini orbs floating about everywhere. Now we know the Dreaming City was always going to change, it's on kind of like a three week timer. Getting worse each week and the taken levels, the taken corruption getting worse and worse. We just didn't know when the effects were going to start. But now this raid has been completed, it seems to be happening now, so the raid completion triggered the raid. So that's pretty cool. If I find any other changes, I'll be sure to let you guys know down below within that comment section. But yeah, guys, just a quick video to update you guys on the new changes in game, new rewards, and worlds first, getting that also epic loot. The guaranteed 1000 voices exotic weapon, which just looks absolutely crazy, which you'll see on screen now. Fair play to them and congrats again. Me and myself, I think I'm going to wait until I'm about mid 550s because I'm seeing people state you need to be at least 550 to even damage the final boss. So yeah, I mean my hunt is only like a 536 and I've literally just started my second character. I've been so busy making videos, I really haven't had that much time to level up and grind the game. But I don't mind taking it slow, it suits me more. But yes, again, congrats to Redeem for getting worlds first. I did hear about Dao getting real close, he's probably finished it by the time this video's gone live. Fair play to them for sticking out also, and for everybody else who stuck to it, I mean, 
crazy determination people absolutely nuts but again guys just a quick video to update you guys on the changes in game hope you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really does help me out if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully i will see you on that next one